nine center Willis Reed. Playing in pain was a way of life. Like his rugged adversary, six foot seven inch Wes Unsell, he made up what he lacked in height with unyielding desire. And when these two relentless warriors collided, the ferocious banging of bodies mirrored the epic battle of their wills. I knew I had to face Willis Reed. Uh, you know, during the, a series, uh, maybe four or five times during the course of the year, uh, I, I didn't need anything else to psych me out because I knew if I wasn't ready, you'd probably get your face walked in. There were two things about Wes that were significant. First of all, um, because he was not a great, great jumper, uh, post up wise, if I could post him up, I could be a low post center against him. But one thing that Wes did better than most any other big guy in the league, he was an excellent, an excellent offensive rebounder. And what he would do was, once the ball went away on the weak side, he would get himself in a great offensive rebounding position. And what Wes had developed a real great technique, he would always put his arms up like so, and he would just take his big body and just walk you right up under the basket. And the next thing you know, you look up, you're looking right up through the nets, and, and if the ball bounces off, I mean, he gets the rebound and puts it right back, or else you foul your, you know, three-point play or a two-shot free throw. He wouldn't crack. Uh, I knew going in uh, that this was going to be a job uh, that night. Uh, you know, I could, and I would, I would do everything I could think of doing to try and, and uh, make Willis quit. But Willis Reed was not a quitter. 